All right, this video is using dimensional analysis to solve density problems. So one thing I want to talk about is having a density value. So for example, aluminum's density is equal to 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. Okay. What we need to understand is this is actually an equivalency statement. It's saying that for every 20 or 2.7 grams of aluminum is going to be equivalent to one cubic centimeter of aluminum. So I can use this equivalency statement and make a conversion factor, one of two things. I can put it as 2.7 grams for every one cubic centimeter, or I can have it as one cubic centimeter over 2.7 grams. And of course, which conversion factor I choose is going to be dependent on what information I'm given to start with. Um, so for example, we'll stick with our aluminum. If I had uh, 33.0 grams of aluminum, right, I want to know how much how many cubic centimeters is going to uh, be taken up, right, the volume of 33.0 grams of aluminum. So what I'll do is I need to understand that I have 2.7 um, grams per cubic centimeter. This is essentially my equivalency statement. This is a piece of information that I have, right? So with that, I'll start with what I'm given. I'm given 33.0 grams. Now you're thinking, well, if I'm given 33.0 grams, but I'm also given 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter, which one do I start with? Because um, you're given both. Well, under, you, what you need to be able to do is recognize which one of those is your literature unit, right? Which one's your exact number? And that would be this guy right here. Okay? He is our um, exact number. Not to mention, if you wanted to look at it this way, Whichever is your simple unit is what you start with. So a simple unit is one that is not derived, meaning I have grams here versus grams per cubic centimeter there, right? Grams is my simple unit, so I'll start with my simple unit. So 33.0 grams of aluminum, put over one, and then for every According to my equivalency statement, I would have 2.7 grams of aluminum for every one cubic centimeter. My grams of aluminum cancel out. Technically, this is volume or cubic centimeter of aluminum. This is my unit that I have left over. When I do my math, I'll do 33.0, and I'm going to be dividing by 2.7. Uh, I'm getting 12.22 repeating twos, right? I need three sig figs, so one, two, three. I look at the next number, it's a two. It's not enough to round that up, so 12.2 cubic centimeters, all right? So what does that mean? That means if I have... 33.0 grams of aluminum, it's going to take up 12.2 uh, cubic centimeters of space. All right. Uh, now let's go ahead and do something else. Um, let's try, I don't know, let's start with a volume of 16.04 uh, cubic centimeters. And I want to know how many grams of, um, let's pick a metal. Let's go with, let's go copper. And copper's density is 8.96 uh, grams per cubic centimeter. All right, so I have a piece of copper that is taking up 16.04 cubic centimeters of space, I want to know what's the mass. So 
I'll take what I'm given, in this case, in my simple unit, 16.04 cubic centimeters over 1. And then I want to convert this using my density value for every 1 cubic centimeter. I have 8.96 grams, right? This is of copper, copper, copper. Right, well, my cubic centimeter of copper cancels out. I'm left with grams of copper, which is what I want. Do my math. I'm going to go 16.04 times 8.96, and I'm going to get 143.7184. And Remember, whatever number of sig figs you start with is the number of sig figs you should finish with. So if I have four sig figs to start with, then I need to finish with four. Because if you remember, this number right here is an exact number. So it does not, when I say this number, I mean this right here, both the 1 and the 8.96. Um, they are not going to play a role in sig figs. So I'm looking at 1, 2, 3, 4 sig figs there. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. This 1 is not enough to round that 7 up. So my answer is 143.7 grams. Again, what does that mean? That means if I had a piece of copper that was occupying 16.04 centimeters or cubic centimeters of space, it would mass at 143.7 gram, 143 grams. All right, that's copper. And that's pretty much it, okay? Um, if you needed to solve for a density, um, then that's going to be just grams per cubic centimeter or grams per milliliter. Um, you don't necessarily use the density because you're solving for the density if I asked you that kind of question. But for both this question right here, where I have mass and I'm looking for volume, okay, I can use the density to solve it indicated here. If I have the volume, and I'm looking for grams or mass, I can use the density as indicated here to get my mass. That's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, be sure to ask me in class. And that's all she wrote.